More goals and drama as Brighton face Liverpool. Is suddenly a match that's become more important to Brighton than to Liverpool. Brighton still have a lot to do to get away from the foot of the table, while I suppose Liverpool's recent decline has virtually put the championship beyond their reach. So critical times for Brighton as we pick up the coverage of Southern Television with our commentator, David Bobin. It's the start of a crucial week for Brighton in their bid to avoid relegation. After today's game against Liverpool, they play Southampton here at the Goldston on Tuesday night. And then next Saturday, they travel to Carrow Road for the game against Norwich, who are as deep in trouble at the foot of the table as Brighton are. Alan Mullery's team are without the suspended Neil McNabb and Brian Horton. Now, he'll miss all three of those vital matches after collecting more than 20 disciplinary points. His place in midfield today goes to Giles Still, making his first team debut. And Mark Lawrenson takes over the role of captain for this vital game. Striker Andy Ritchie is out with a knee injury, and so Gordon Smith joins Mike Robinson in attack. Well, by their own remarkable standards, Liverpool are struggling. It's their worst season in the league for many years, and even at this stage of the season, it would appear that they're about to lose their first division championship. They've not won a league match since January the 17th at Norwich, and they haven't been helped by a whole crop of injuries, but today they line up like this. And their Scottish international striker, Kenny Dalgleish, returned to the side after a recent injury, and he'll be posing as many problems as ever for the Brighton defence today. So away we go, and the trip in the very first seconds of the match for Kenny Dalgleish as Brighton get underway against Liverpool. Liverpool in their distinctive all-red strip, attacking the goal on our left, and really a very important game for both sides for different reasons. Early touch of the ball for Giles still, making his debut for Brighton. Brighton, of course, desperate to uh, get back in the points after a very bad run recently. That would certainly help them to climb away from the foot of the table. And Liverpool, well, as I said, uh, by their own high standards, not had a good time recently. And they'll be looking to uh, narrow the gap with the leaders at the top of Division 1. McDermott, back to Cohen. Again, looking for Dalgleish, but Gregory there. Kennedy to McDermott. Jimmy Case wide on that uh, far touch line, but away by Foster. There's a chance. Robinson all by himself. Can he put him in front? He can. An absolute dream star for Brighton. That's just what they wanted. Mike Robinson with his 16th goal of the season. Admittedly, Liverpool are playing with an experimental back four, but just look at the confidence of Robinson here, bursting into the box. Clements can't do anything. 1-0 to Brighton. Well, my word, that's just the sort of start that the fans here wanted. And Brighton are forced into all sorts of changes because of suspensions and injury. But you really couldn't ask for a better start than that. Here's Johnson for Liverpool. Trying to find Dalgleish where he's so dangerous just on the edge of the area. Poofed away now, looking for Robinson or Smith. That was Smith underneath it. Gregory to Still. Smith with a touch on again. And Robinson's away for a second time. He squares it. O'Sullivan couldn't quite control it. But that should have been number two. Well, what an extraordinary start by Brighton. They've got Liverpool absolutely on the ropes. A lovely ball from Gordon Smith, which went through and found Robinson. And really, if O'Sullivan had managed to control the centre, that surely would have been number two. Cohen to Johnson. Nice ball, but not a good header. Little flick to header on from Robinson.
Well, nine minutes of the match gone, Brighton 2, Liverpool 0, and who would have believed it? Certainly not the Liverpool team. Better kick from Digweed that time. Nice touch from Smith to Robinson and nearly charging through and causing problems. Well, this makeshift Brighton attack, which has only really come about through the absence of Andy Ritchie, is certainly giving Liverpool problems. Here's Clark. The left foot shot from uh, Paul Clark. So nearly caught Ray Clements by surprise, bursting through and hitting that fierce shot. A little ball through for Paul Clark. You'll see him. There it is. Picks it up on the edge of the area. Comes in and whacks that left foot shot just past the post. Cohen, that's not a bad ball to McDermott. Oh, lovely touch and back in by Johnson. Lovely skills by Liverpool. That's the first time we've seen any evidence at all, really, of the sort of thing that they can do in attack. And a lovely ball from McDermott over Digweed's head, back off the crossbar. And David Johnson, well, a simple task to put Liverpool back in at 2-1. There's McDermott just turning over Digweed, off the bar. David Johnson runs in, says, thank you very much, 2-1. Now, Mark Lawrenson, beautifully cut out by Phil Neal, and Liverpool starting to bite a bit. Dalglish, McDermott on the run, but that should be Clark's. Really, Paul Clark, I think, doing the only sensible thing coming in like that. He wasn't sure where the attacker was behind him. Happy to concede the corner. So it's McDermott down to take the corner. There's McDermott lining it up, and Liverpool are pushing most people forward. Sammy Lee on the decoy run. Kennedy whacks it in, but hoofed away. Now, Jimmy Case, will he try one? A little chip. Johnson... And that's dangerous, Johnson's there! Well, Brighton so nearly paid the penalty there, the ball was bouncing loose and they didn't get it away, and David Johnson nearly made it number two for him. David Johnson's very sharp in the penalty area, and Brighton are going to learn that to their expense if they carry on like this. There's the ball bobbling around. David Johnson so nearly just putting it inside instead of outside. Smith to O'Sullivan. Mike Robinson letting it run beautifully for Gordon Smith. He's goal bound now. That's a great start from Clements. Well, a tremendous break from Brighton and Gordon Smith, unlucky in a way not to make it uh, the third Brighton goal and his second. But certainly superb anticipation from uh, Ray Clements in that situation, save Liverpool again. But another great break from Brighton. So there we go, the half-time whistle, and really what an entertaining first 45 minutes we've had here. Brighton giving excellent value to the fans who've turned up in their thousands to see this game, and they fully deserve a 2-1 lead. And if the second half of this entertaining game is anywhere near as good as the first 45 minutes, we're in for a real treat. Brighton leading, remember, by those two goals to one. Brighton scorers Gordon Smith to Mike Robinson and the Liverpool reply coming from David Johnson. But uh, really that's not perhaps an accurate reflection of the way the chances went. It could have been 4-2, something like that. Anyway, we've got a free kick in the opening seconds of this half, which Jimmy Case will take. Away again by Foster, only as far as uh, Sunis's shot, which uh, almost crept under Digweed, but uh, positioned absolutely right. There he is, Graham Sunis. The Brighton crowd finally really getting behind their team. A little bit quiet at times. No sense this could be a famous victory if Brighton can retain this 2-1 lead. David Johnson, McDermott. Case, looking for Kennedy. Alan Murray, putting the ball back to...
to his skipper Mark Lawrenson, who in turn will leave it. Nobody can actually decide as to who's going to take the throw. Still finally gives it to Gregory. Well, that's interesting. There's Robinson. He's got a great chance, and he couldn't quite control it. It was bouncing and bobbling all over the place. And really, well, Mike Robinson was unlucky there. He was in exactly the right place, but he couldn't quite make the vital contact where it counted. Aerial power, Clark, Robinson and Smith. Liverpool have got it away, and this is McDermott looking dangerous for Liverpool. But that's not a good ball, and well cut out by Williams. He's harassed and chased all the way by David Johnson, and so nearly put uh, Smith away. Now Phil Neal striking back for Liverpool. Kennedy finding Dalgleish. A little flip. Oh, what a lovely goal by McDermott. That really was a great goal. Just as casual as you like. And Perry Digley could really do nothing about that. The disgust as he kicks the ball away, but Liverpool are right back in this game now. And really, what a clinical example of finishing this is. Dalgleish, little chip. Lee goes up, doesn't make touch, but look at that for finishing. McDermott makes it 2-2. Ray Kennedy on one of those probing runs. This is Jimmy Case. Took a deflection. Took a deflection, the shot from Jimmy Case, and that's going to be another corner to Liverpool. They're pushing forward now. Their years of experience at the very highest level could pay against a, a side, a Brighton side, which contains all sorts of changes. And the young debutante making his league debut. What can they do now? Dermot wide to Jimmy Case. It's coming to Kennedy. What a great start by Digweed. Ray Kennedy's shot surely was goal bound, and Digweed did brilliantly to get down at almost point blank range to keep that one out. 2 2 the final score. What a comeback then by Liverpool, but with Ipswich and Villa both winning today, while Liverpool are eight points behind, they've only 11 games to play now, it's surely beyond them. Uh, Southampton and West Brom, uh, two other teams on that caption, played a 2 2 draw at the Dell, uh, where Kevin Keegan went off at half time with a rib injury.